Wake up. Come on, Thumper, wake up. Gods, give me strength. Uh, come on. I need you to move your legs. If you don't move your legs, I'll be forced to drag you through the fire. So move it. That's right. Come on. Thumper, please, you need to stand. Uh, come on. Come on. Please. Uh, no, I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving you. Don't even entertain the idea of dying right now. I... No. I've got you. No, no, no. You're not dying on me. I won't let her have you. Do you hear me, Thumper? I'll get you out. I'm your shield, remember? Get on my shoulder. It's just dirt. To help the spell stick. This will be over shortly. I promise you'll see me when it's done. You should be resting. Uh, ow. Ah. Uh. No, it, it doesn't hurt that bad. I just, I just moved a little too quickly. That's all. Oh, this? Sorry, I, I should have cleaned up a bit. I, no, 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 it's, it's not my blood. A few of Valer's servants tried to stop me and... And the others from getting to the center of the manor. Truly, I'm fine. I'm fine. You don't need to worry about me. Concern yourself with... Well, you. Oh, gods, you look so pale. She must have taken so much blood. No, no, no. Oh, don't worry. There are no visible bites anymore. I had just enough in me to heal that mess on your neck. I'm glad she didn't kill you. Much less turn you. Hey. Hey, I know you. You did everything you could to fight back. To resist. Do not take what she's said and done and blame yourself. Her influence is strong, I know, but you are strong too. You're the only reason I made it this far. Don't doubt yourself because of what she did. Thumper... It. Yes, we're fine. <clears throat> have you... have you found her? She can't have gotten far. That fire most definitely got a hold of her. And it's still too early for her to disappear into the dark, even in the woods. Yes. And Olid... Thank you for helping. Hmm? Thumper, are you all right? You're leaning on me quite happily. Uh, how 
how did I find you? Oh, I was terrified when you never came back to the plaza. I went to the guards. I tried to find anyone that would help. I must have looked a ragged mess. I was so madly desperate to be heard. The goddess of luck truly was smiling on me, even in my panic. I found myself not alone in the guardhouse, screaming. Olid was there, yelling about finding his brother's corpse in an alley. The family of merchants outside Ville Rouge? Turns out they're Olid's kin. It's true. He did turn me away when I asked for his help before. But I'll not hold that against him. I think he feels guilty enough for the loss of his brother. To the very vampire I sought to have him help defeat. I, I told him that we had met his family. Of what they told me about seeing Valère and his brother escorting her. Then I told him about your sudden disappearance. <clears throat> we worked together with a faction from the city guard. We were waylaid several times by Valère's thralls and spawn. It made our mission go slow. I'm so sorry. I can't imagine your suffering. I wish we had moved faster. She may not have been the strongest of vampires, but she was dangerous nonetheless. It took a well-renowned mercenary to get all these men to even assist. But if I'd found no one to help me, I'd have given my everything to get to you. I'd have sacrificed every part of my being to get into that manor. I'd never have stopped fighting. Not even in death. <laughs> I'd have haunted Valère until she was too annoyed to deal with my presence. I missed you. Missed your warmth. Your lips. Your calloused hands. Oh, oh, gods, listen to me go on like a, a desperate... If it weren't for the others in the camp, I'd be pleading for your touch. <laughs> oh, wait. You should lie down. <laughs> uh, uh, wait. Here? Now? <laughs> Please, they'll hear. They're right outside. <laughs> then promise me you'll be gentle. 